um, creating character effects. Okay, so um, here we go. Just using this frog character I developed earlier. First off, you need to uh, duplicate and move our original character. So we're just basically creating a duplication, and of course, unlock. You need to unlock it so as you can move the duplicated one. So I'm going to move it out. And then next up, I want to freeze, oh sorry, not freeze transforms, just delete the history. Do not freeze transforms, because we need to move it back into place later on. Okay. So all we've done is uh, duplicated it, moved it out a little bit, and deleted the history on it. Next up, I'm going to <coughs> actually detach the um, edges. What I need to do is actually right click, select all of the edges, and then hit Edit Mesh Detach. Great. So let's uh, keep on moving. I need to select the actual uh, object again. Go into uh, End Dynamics. We're going to be working in End Cloth. Uh, go um, N Mesh and create N Cloth. Here we go, fantastic. Now next up, we need to select the N Cloth and change its attributes in the Attribute Editor. So um, click on Collisions. We need to turn off Collide and Self Collide. Now if you wish you can keep Self Collide on, but uh, just for this particular tutorial I'll have them turned off. Now we need to adjust gravity down to zero. Um, <clears throat> next up we're going to create an actual field. The field is what's going to affect it. And here I'm going to create a volume axis field. Okay, volume axis we can actually animate that as it passes across the character. Now next up I'm just going to scale it into position um, at the moment it's a cube, but I'll actually uh, change that shortly to a sphere. And I'd like to position it uh, above the character. I'll just get it in the right position. Shouldn't take too much time here. Basically you need to encompass the entire character in this. Uh, so as, as it moves down, once you animate it, as it flows over the entire character, Okay, and I'll change that to a uh, sphere. Under volume control attributes and sphere. So there we go. Great. So next up, I need to change the magnitude, which is under volume axis field attributes. Change the magnitude to 1 and attenuation to 0 0.001. Now you can play around with those of course. And then in the volume speed attributes, change a long axis to 5, turbulence to 1, turbulence speed to 0.1, and turbulence frequency to 444 for x, y, and z axis. Okay, great. Now it's just simply setting the keys on your field and then um, lastly you need to create a play blast. If you don't do a play blast you might not see it, uh, the final final render. And what I suggest is once you pull that final movie into say Premiere, you can just reverse the movie so it actually looks like it's, it's uh, coming together. Okay, great.